And those are the numbers for the quarter. Great job, team. Bring it in. Let's keep it going. What are you doing? It's the, the hand thing. No one does that? Yeah, they, yeah, they do. I, I've seen it online. Those are stock images. No one does that. Uh, but look at how diverse our hands are, like real different colors. Yeah, like it's inspiring, right? Yeah, no, I have a YouTube video to go film. Go team. No, now it's ruined. Stock photography is obvious. It's overused, we've seen enough of this and enough of that. And if you think you're in the clear because your stock photos are full of exposed brick, refurbished wood, and people who aren't old white men, you're not. This intervention is for you too. In this video, we'll be walking through the problems with stock photography and what you can use instead. But before I get into that, give this video a like and subscribe to our channel so you can keep up with all of our content. We are always publishing new videos on marketing and design best practices along with interviews and webinars from some of the biggest and brightest names in the industry. Okay, back to stock photography. Stock photos are created without a particular project in mind. They're typically quite generic and cliche and they're intended for mass application. Basically, they're the elevator music of photography. They're great if you want to blend into the background and that's what's so confusing about brands who rely on stock photos. You put all this work into getting your prospects eyes on your products and services just to serve them a plate of bland, forgettable imagery. Is that really the impression you want to make? Here are some problems with stock photography. Anyone can use the same photo, including your competitors. You likely don't have exclusive rights to the stock images you purchase, so the very companies you're trying to separate yourself from could be using the imagery that looks just like yours. If this happens, good luck trying to stand out. One size fits all. Stock photos are designed to fit a wide range of applications. Your brand, on the other hand, is unique. At least it was until you watered it down with generic visuals. When choosing stock, you'll likely settle on something that's close enough instead of pairing your work with visuals it deserves. Visuals that'll actually add value. Speaking of which, Stock photos add little to no value. Whenever you fail to capitalize on the attention of your audience, you direct them to your competitor. Then all they need to do to beat you is to show a bit more effort and creativity, which won't be hard because you're using stock photography, which is just a step above not having visuals at all. They don't save money or time. Here's the thing, if a website boasts free stock photos but requires you to buy credits or pay for a subscription, it's not free. Sure, there's a number of websites that are actually free, but they typically share the same limited libraries, meaning the images aren't as good and there's a better chance of others using the photos you download. Now, if you don't mind paying for stock, a few blog images here and there every week can start to add up. Then when you consider the time it takes to find that perfect photo each time, you might think to yourself, there's gotta be a better way. Well, there is. Use illustrations instead of stock photos. Now, before you stop this video because illustrations are too much work, hear me out. Illustrations have worked wonders for us. Here's why illustrations work. People are wired to process information quickly, especially visuals. At the same time, we're quick to disregard messages and themes when they're tough to understand. That's what makes illustrations such an effective communication tool. There's studies on this. In fact, one study showed that people who followed illustrated instructions were 323% more successful at completing tasks than those following non-illustrated instructions. Think about most mobile apps. There's a reason why so many of them use icons and illustrated animations to walk you through onboarding. That's because illustrations clarify your message and at the same time give your brand a consistent look that builds equity through association. Plus, illustration comes with a choice. Remember all that good enough talk about stock photography? There's no limit to what you can show with illustration. Look at us, we put a dog in space. That's because it speaks to our collective imagination. The space imagery speaks to our futuristic approach. Everything about the style of our visuals represents us and us alone. There's no confusing our brand with one of our competitors, and there's no picture for the sake of having a picture. Our illustrations are doing so much more than simply giving audiences something to look at. That's not to say illustration should always win over photography. Stock photos have their place, just not as a main component of anything that's customer facing. To capitalize on the attention of your audience, try custom illustrations with SuperSize. When we say we offer full service creative, we mean it. That includes pairing your business with top illustrators to create dynamic visuals for your blog, ads, YouTube thumbnails, you name it. Our team works fast and can push the boundaries of any illustrative style. We can even come up with an adorable new mascot for your business. Just don't expect it to look like Shmoon. Shmoon is ours. 
same with Space Dog. To find out more about our illustration services, visit superside.com. And if you want to see more videos like this come up on your recommended list, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.